I met Graham through my brother Francis Scott. Now, Francis, my brother, is an architect, and the two of us had admired uh, a building in Camden called the Roundhouse, which is a theatre stroke community arts venue. And um, we, we'd been to this building several times and really enjoyed the ambience and some of the design detail. And it was Frank who told me that it was Graham Ford who had uh, been responsible for the design and delivery of the building. And uh, we had a particularly uh, difficult problem on our hands. I had been commissioned to build a new boathouse for the Royal Parks in Hyde Park. And what particularly scared me about this commission was the high profile nature of the location. So the fact that Graham had worked so successfully on the Roundhouse encouraged me uh, to approach him to see if he could help. So we got together in 2008 and the concept was for a pavilion um, that was lightweight and demountable. So the idea is that it, it got built in a factory, came on the back of a truck, got assembled on site. It's made up of a kit set of frames, of steel frames and timber panels. So the steel frames went up first, the steel trusses and the, and the steel posts um, onto a concrete base and then um, the panels came in um, separately all built in a factory and got slotted into the uh, system on site. Uh, the idea is that at the end of its life the building may be able to be transported away again so we uh, unbolt all the pieces, take down the steel frame, take off the panels, put them away and, and then reassemble it on another site. The building is designed to sit in the landscape in a sympathetic way from the from this side of the Serpentine Lake, you can see through the building, it's transparent, so the roof feels like it's floating on the base of the building through the clear story windows. It doesn't feel heavy, um, like a heavy lump in the landscape. It's a lightweight pavilion. The, the building is a low energy building in the sense that we incorporated a lot of low energy design um, into, into the building. For example, there's a heat pump which uses the lake, um, uses the stability of the lake to, um, to reduce the energy consumption of the heat pump. There's also screens uh, that, that shade the western side of the building from the hot summer sun. The, the building is also uh, cooled down by clear story windows, so we have cross ventilation coming through the building at high level with opening windows during the peak periods. Well, the heat pump will help cool the building down as well. As a office, we specialise in low energy facilities for sport. We're particularly skilled at pavilions uh, in landscapes and sens on sensitive sites and in big landscapes. This is the first project we've done in that sort of environment. We've also wor worked in Kew Gardens on a low energy research facility and we're now working in the Lee Valley, in the Green Belt, for the same client. Graham has been excellent for us because he's very much a one-stop firm. Uh, he's been wonderful from discussing initial ideas through to getting those ideas down on paper, attention to not just exterior design and floor plans, but interior design and ideas. Getting those presented in a form for the planners, having meetings with the planners so we can see if our ideas fit within planning policy, then submitting the planning application, then helping us choose the right contractor, uh, helping us cost the project to make sure we're in on budget, advising as you go through, and of course watching the contractors to make sure that the, the build goes according to plan. So from our point of view, Graham's been a one-stop shop, which is an enormous comfort. I don't have to worry about agents for planning. I don't have to worry about overseeing the tender process myself. Uh, it's been very comforting to know that the firm has the resources to take care of all those processes for us. One of his greatest testaments from me as a business owner, the project was on time and under budget. That's a powerful incentive to use an architect again.